So, here I have my attempt at as close as I think we can get in KSP to a drone. And I'm not talking just like general props using SAS and RCS to control. As you'll see as I move my joystick around here, I have no actual input on the uh, bottom left down side here. This is all done by just controlling control surfaces directly. SAS here is purely stabilization. Um, the way this is currently set up is I've got the um, throttle on my hot ass set to the RPM limit. Uh, I have the stick. Uh, we'll start with pitch set to two of each of the blades on each prop, so that the front ones will decrease to, and the rear ones to increase lift as so I kind of pitch forward and vice versa. Um, your and uh, not your roll is set up the same way just on the other two blades. Um, is it set up the right way? Hmm. Those two aren't working. I know, are they working? Yeah, I've got two blades here not doing anything. That's because they're not deployed. This might explain some of the odd behaviour I've been having. Um, I've been flying around with one of my props not giving me the correct input. So yeah, I've got roll there, and then pitch on the other two. Uh, yaw is set up to the torque limiter, so these operate in opposite directions, so it'll increase torque and decrease torque. The slight issue here is that these motors, especially even with these props on, do not have much running resistance. So you put any kind of RPM, there's, it does, the motors don't need much torque to get it up to that RPM, and therefore, when kind of just cruising at a speed, the turning moment you can get is very, very slim. So I might do some experimentation with the uh, rolling resistance of the motors and also looking at maybe just adding some mechanical drag to the motors so they have more, they need more power to keep themselves running and so therefore can apply a greater torque. Um, so yeah, let's see how it applies. Some weird, weird quirks. Um, for example, when throttling down the yaw control inverts um, and when, as I said, when cruising there is no yaw control uh, but it's other than that, it's pretty good so on my left stick I've just got the um, throttle and then I've got forward control like that and I've got roll control like that and then you see it's doing nothing but if I throttle up I throttle down, I get loads of yaw control so it's a balancing act to be sure but as a combination of the two, you can kind of work it out. The reason I've had to resort to this kind of hacked together method is that KSP does not actually let you um, input more than one uh, control axis to control the same thing. Ideally, you'd want it so that everything was running off the um, torque inputs. Although, again, I'd need to look into this kind of drag issue. Um, but as it stands, I've had to resort to props to do that kind of thing because otherwise um, you can only have one axis of control, which isn't ideal. So far I've been unable to actually land one of these, so yeah, it auto-rotates a lot. Come on, come on. Uh, it doesn't do what I want it to do half the time. Especially when it starts getting down towards no throttle. Pull up. Uh, nah. Oh. Eh, had worse. Let's uh, give that another run with the Aero Forces overlay enabled so we can see what's going on. Which button is that? Oh, 10. Nope, that's recording. There we go. Take a screenshot because why not? So. As we throttle up here, we can see we're getting some lift forces here. Ooh, I forgot to. Uh, yeah, we'll try that again. <laughs> I forgot to enable SAS. So it does still have SAS, but this is purely stabilization, not bound the hot ass at all to the controls of the SAS, which I can demonstrate here because you should be able to see um, the reaction wheels. Uh, actually, no, what I need to do is. Set that to SAS. 
No, it makes no difference because either way it's going to get in the way of my controls. But um, there we go, and I'll screenshot. So you can see I've got the forces. You can see how they kind of. I mean, it's a bit of a mess with how many forces, but you can kind of see how my forces are inverted on both sides there. And then if I do that, you can see I'll get more at the front, more at the back. One thing that amazes me, which I think is a bit broken in the game, is just how little power charge for these small motors used. I mean, this is a reasonable sized drone. It's got a huge thrust to weight ratio, but I'm using less than two per, per second. On, behave. There we go. Sometimes it just ugh, totally goes out of control. And I have no idea why. I mean, right now I know why. I'm missing off my fucking props, but you get the picture. It's uh, trying to land this thing is really, really tricky. But I do think there is definitely the possibility of opening this up to um, further development along this platform. I reckon it could. Could be a lot. I might give this a bit more experimentation. See if I can work out some of the issues with the way that KSP works with their motors. I might try and up the running torque, for example, the kind of drag on the motors to make them harder to turn. Um, I could try and adding some air brakes, that kind of thing, to kind of make it so that it needs more torque to keep the motors running. But yeah, it's a good, good little drone. This worked out better than I was expecting, to be honest.